All right, everybody, welcome to your seventh Node.js tutorial. I'm Mehul, and in this tutorial, we'll be looking something up more about the modules. Well, we already looked at what modules are in tutorial number three when I just demonstrated this require function. But let's just take a bit more look about what this is and a bit more of properties associated with modules. So what we did in tutorial 3, let me just copy and paste all of this code. So if I just open this methods.js and uh, in modules you can actually omit this JS extension if you wish. This is completely optional. So it would work with .js as well but it's up to you. So what we did here is that we just created an object, assigned it some functions and just created exports.data is methods. Now you can actually do that with module.exports.data as well. So uh, uh, Node.js automatically creates something known as module.exports is equal to exports is equal to an object when your module is initialized. So similar thing you can do with <coughs> methods as well for this object so that you don't have to just um, you know you can just get rid of this line at once so to do that just go ahead and write var methods is export module or exports whatever you like dot export and is an object now both of these refer to the same object and that's the you know way JavaScript works so if you have like a simple demonstration I'm just showing you that if you have an A object and this is prop1 is true then you assign that to B and you just say um, B is A and then you do B is prop1 is false and when you just console log A then you'll see that it shows you false or basically A dot prop1 so when you did this line then what it did is is that it referred to the same object which is a is referring to so it does did not create its own new copy of this object it just referred to the a's copy and when you did the rewrite you can say for the a it just overwrote the property associated with a so that's similarly what we are making use of here we're just setting methods and equal to module exports and then this object. Now instead of this, you could also use like this. Just replace this with all of that and you're good to go. Or what you can do is you can just say module.exports and then you can say just some numbers is function and all that stuff so you know there are a bunch of ways to just export your data and um, inside the script 7 you can just receive your data or import your data with this require keyword and as I told you I guess in tuto an earlier tutorial I guess I have told you if not then the reason why we make use of this dot slash here is to just <coughs> tell the node that we are making use of the local module and not of a core module which is like we made use of this HTTP here so if I have another module like HTTP here like HTTP.js here and if I type HTTP like that so Angular won't know which module I'm referring to so to you know just avoid the confusion we make use of this thing right here if I make use of this, then it will load the HTTP.js file from this folder, node.node.js. And if I make use of this, then it would load the core module, the HTTP, which is used to create a server. So yeah, so that's it pretty much about the modules. And we'll be taking um, more into consideration about working on them as the time goes on with some new application which will be coding in node so that's all for this tutorial and i'll see you then